Okay, today we're going to be simplifying radical expressions dealing with fractions. This is section 7.5 in your Algebra 2 book. When you have a radical expression or a square root or cube root, fourth root, any kind of root on the bottom of a fraction, you have to simplify that. You're not allowed to have a final answer with any kind of root on the bottom of the fraction. So we have this first example here where we have 6 divided by square root 3. And if the square root of 3 were on the top of the fraction, that would be okay. But now it's on the bottom and we can't have that. So what we do is we multiply top and bottom of the fraction by the square root of 3, what's on the bottom. When you do that, you get 6 square root of 3 on the top over square root of 9 on the bottom. Now what you get on the bottom is always going to be something that can be simplified. Square root of 9 can be simplified to just 3 with no more square root. And the 6 on the top and the 3 on the bottom can reduce to a 2. So 2 square root of 3 would be our final answer. On the next one, we want to simplify 5 over square root of 2. We're going to multiply top and bottom by square root of 2. On the top, we get 5 square root of 2. On the bottom, we get square root of 4. And again, what we get on the bottom is always something that can be simplified. Square root of 4 here is just 2. So 5 square root of 2 over regular 2 is our final answer. What you started with on the bottom of the fraction is always going to be what you end with on the bottom of the fraction. Just no more square root around it. On the one right next to it, on the right, we have 20 over 4, which are both outside of the um, square roots. You can reduce those to 5. And inside the square roots, 10 over 5 would reduce to 2. So 2 square root of 2 is our answer. We don't actually have to do any multiplying in this one. You just have to reduce your fractions. On the next one, 5 over or 35 over 7x. 35 over 7 is a fraction that can be reduced to 5 over x. And now you want to simplify this one by multiplying top and bottom by the square root of x, like we see in the bottom. We get the square root of 5x on the top and just x on the bottom. It's the square root of x squared, which simplifies to just x. On the next one, we want to reduce our y to the fifth over y to the sixth. Exponents are going to subtract, leaving you a y on the bottom. So 1 over y is the reduced version of this. Now multiply top and bottom of the fraction by square root of y to get rid of the radical on the bottom. Square root y on the top over just regular y on the bottom, no more square root. Final answer. Okay, when you are rationalizing cube roots and fourth roots and fifth roots, the same idea applies, but you have to have a total of however many your root is. Like here, ours is a fourth root, so I have to multiply by a total number of threes to create a group of four of them. I have one three on the bottom of the fraction right now. I'm going to multiply by three more threes to make a complete group of fourth, group, fourth roots of three. I multiply by three more to the bottom, so I multiply by three more threes to the top. Two times three times three times three would be the fourth root of 54 on the top. You have a complete group of threes on the bottom, which eliminates your fourth root and leaves you just three on the bottom. Fourth root 54 over just three. Try the next one. See how many 2x's you have to multiply by on number one. Pause the video until you're ready to go over it. Okay, right now on the bottom of number one, we have one 2x. I need a total of three 2x's. I'm going to multiply by two more 2x's on the bottom. I will multiply the top by two more 2x's, giving me a total of 20x squared inside the cube root on the top. On the bottom, you have a complete group of 2x's. The cube root goes away completely, and you have just 2x on the bottom. On number two, try this one and pause until you're ready. We have one seven under the fourth root right now on the bottom of number two. We need a total of four sevens. We're gonna multiply by three more to the bottom. Do the same to the top. Two times seven times seven times seven is 686 inside the fourth root. On the bottom of the fraction, you have completed your groups of seven, so the fourth root cancels out and you're left with just seven. When you have a bottom of the fraction that has a square root but it has more to it like here we have one minus square root five we have to multiply the top and bottom by what's called the conjugate or the opposite of the bottom 
I'm going to take my original problem here, 3 plus square root 5 over 1 minus square root 5, and I'm going to multiply it by the conjugate of the bottom, 1 plus square root 5, to both the bottom and to the top. When I do that, this requires me to foil the top and foil the bottom. Foiling on the top, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 square root of 5 would be outside, 1 square root of 5 would be inside, and square root of 25 is what we get from last. Foiling on the bottom, first times first, one times one is one. Outside gives me a positive square root of five. Inside gives me negative square root of five. Last times last gives me negative square root 25. We can now simplify this. On the top, we have three square roots of five and one more square root of five. That's gonna make four square roots of five. The square root of 25 is regular five plus the three would be eight. On the bottom, your positive square root of 5 and negative square root of 5 cancel out and then negative square root 25 would be negative regular 5 so 1 minus 5 would be negative 4 so right now on the top we had 8 plus 4 square root of 5 and on the bottom we had negative 4 negative 4 divides into both parts of the numerator so 8 divided by negative 4 would be negative 2 4 divided by negative 4 would be negative 1 square root of 5 for a final answer Try the next two and pause until you're ready to go over them. Alright, on the first one we're going to multiply top and bottom by 4 minus square root 15. This is called the conjugate of the bottom. Foil on the top and then on the bottom. When we foil the top, we have 24 minus 6 square root 15 plus 4 square root 15 minus square root of 225. When we foil the bottom, we have 16 minus 4 square root 15 plus 4 square root 15 minus 2 square root of 225. Combine like terms on the top. Negative 6 square roots of 15 plus 4 square roots of 15 would be negative 2 square roots of 15. You also have a negative square root of 225, which is a perfect square, that's negative 15. So 24 minus 15 is going to make 9 when we combine those like terms together. On the bottom, your middle terms cancel out. Negative square root of 225 again is a perfect square, it's negative 15, so 16 minus 15 would be 1 on the bottom. So all total on the top we had 9 minus 2 square roots of 15, on the bottom we had just 1. 9 divided by 1 is 9, negative 2 divided by 1 is negative 2 square roots of 15, so final answer would be 9 minus 2 square roots of 15. Try the next one, pause until you're ready. We're going to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the bottom, which is square root of 3 plus 2. On the top, when we distribute the 4 to both terms, we have 4 square root of 3 and then plus 8. On the bottom, when we FOIL, we get square root of 9 plus 2 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3 minus 4 from FOILing the bottom. Your beginning term is a square root of 9 that will become just a regular 3 and the middle terms cancel out. So regular 3 minus 4 would be negative 1 on the bottom and when you divide 4 into negative 1 we get negative 4 and then 8 divided into negative 1 would be negative 8. So negative 4 square roots of 3 minus 8 final answer.